If you want to fit a normal curve to your data, I have three simple steps that will allow you to do this easily and quickly. For this example, I'm going to use built-in data from the Pi dataset module. In particular, I'm going to be using age of cancer patients. Age is usually something that's normally distributed, so I think it will be a good example for this case. In order to fit a normal curve, we need to complete three simple steps. One, we need to visualize our data. Two, we need to get our parameters for the normal distribution. And last, we need to normalize. So let's go through these three steps together. Of course, before we can do anything, we need to do our import statements. So like I mentioned, we're gonna use built-in data. And for our visualization, we need matplotlib, in particular, pyplot. Next, we need the normal distribution, which comes from scipy.stats, and we're going to be using numpy, so import numpy as np. In this next cell, I'm just going to make this a matplotlib notebook. That way, we have interactive plots. So step one, visualizing the data. This can be done with plt.hist, which is just a histogram, and we're going to just do that on our cancer age data, and we'll do plt.show. Step two is to get the parameters. Now you can do this with a dot fit method, but I like to use NumPy. So we'll get the standard deviation with np.std of our age of cancer patients. And I'm gonna put ddof equals one to make sure that is the unbiased version. Then we'll get mean in a similar fashion with np.mean. Now we're ready to plot our curve with the data. So first let's make a domain. We'll do np.linspace. And to just to play it safe, we're gonna do the minimum of our ages and the maximum as our two boundaries. Next, we'll write the code to actually plot the curve. So we'll put in the domain and norm.pdf, and I'm gonna do a fancy LaTeX label. If you wanna know how you can create LaTeX labels in matplotlib, check out this video I made. There should be a link popping up in the top right corner. And now our third step is to normalize. This is where we do it in the plt.hist. So we do data of our cancer age, edge color equals black. I'll put the opacity at 50% and density equals true. Density equals true. That is what we're doing to normalize this histogram so it actually fits under the curve. And last, we'll go ahead and add a title, an X label, a Y label, and a legend. And then we'll do plt.show. So now that we have all of this data, it's time to run to see how it works. So I'm gonna hit shift enter on each one of these cells. So first, let's take a look at the visualization of our cancer age data. You can see this histogram looks pretty normal. In fact, if I drag my mouse around, the curve looks like a bell curve. So I think this is a good example to proceed in fitting a normal curve to the data. Next, we'll get our parameters. And last, we'll run with the density equals true to make sure that it's normalized. And would you look at that? That comes out cleanly with a nice legend and a beautiful fit to the data. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. Here are two other videos that I think you'll enjoy.